Hello, hello. Thank you for coming. You've come to Game Station Tokyo. My name is Tokyo Blue. Today we'll be doing the stumble through of The Evil Within. Episode 37 today. Uh, we're still in chapter 10. Uh, so far I can't complain about the gameplay. I do enjoy the game. Uh, I like the way Sebastian is progressing along. Uh, still sort of a mental conundrum we're trying to figure out. Uh, the only other thing that I could say stands out is the transitions moving from one place to the next. There's no sort of reasonable flow. It's not like he walks into the next mansion. Sometimes he just disappears and dissolves and then reappears out in the woods. But uh, other than that, I'm having fun with the game. So let's get on with this adventure and see if we can get through this chapter. Okay, let's do this crazy music, huh? Uh, let's get going. Come on, line up your head. Come on, look over for the big guy comes back. Is he down? He's not down. Alright, up. Oh man, I got nowhere else to run. Nowhere else to go. Darn it, missed. Two of them? Holy smokes! I'm blowing on my shots. Alright, run, 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 just run. To the bomb. Thank you. Run, run, run. I don't know where I'm going. Hook in the eye. The syringe. Ah, uh, no. Just run. Run. Don't die. Ah, uh, where am I going? He's going to come and get me. Look out. Do I have a syringe? I do. But I gotta stop to take it. Thank you very much. Uh, go in here. Yeah, good idea. While guys are behind you, you turn the wheel, Captain. Thank you.
Got nothing left in my harpoon. Nothing. Run. Hobble. Do what you gotta do. Darn it. Run, run, run. That's all I'm doing. Where are these guys? Where's this guy. Here he is. Okay. Sniper? Yeah. Where is he? Nope. 
I'm gonna need that. Come on, keep following. Where is he? Did he die? Tell me he died. No. Uh. Ouch. Get up. Did he die? He didn't. Another syringe? Yes. Really? Come on, run! Wow, he's getting faster. Oh, I know, he's cutting corners now. There we go. I'll cut a corner or two myself. Bingo! Bye bye! Big guy. Some music stop. Can I walk around? Oh man. I'm like out of everything once again. I have no bolts. No bolts whatsoever. Oh wait, I got parts. I'll take one. Thank you! Uh, okay. I have grenades. I didn't think about using the grenades though. Uh, I don't want to stay in this room as long longer than I have to, but I need resources too. Is there a harpoon over here? No. I was gonna jump in there thinking that maybe that was a way out, but good thing I didn't, eh? Alright. Uh, uh. Okay, here we go. After all that excitement, I do need these bolts though. Thank you. Good to hear you think. Ah, here we go. Uh, did you miss anything else? Anything? All right, here we go. Uh, no boxes over here. And we're off, okay. Get me out of here, Captain. Come on. Turn hard to starboard. Let's go. Let's go. Hard to starboard. Over and one more time. One more time for good luck. Uh, music didn't stop. Yeah, I was hoping it would stop. Oh, uh, we're on the other side of that door now, you see it? Uh, the other side of those blades when I first came in. Alright, I think I'm okay. That's not a uh, flashbulb. Uh, I'll take it. Alright, so this will probably raise the, those rotating blades. I'll be able to walk through. You're gonna hurt you now. Come on. Did I just run through? It's not timed, I guess. Uh, let's see. Let's just wait a second. Uh, 
Alright, here we go. Duck! Alright, so it's through these doors now. Anything to get this music to stop. Music still going. I don't want to hit any invisible trip wires again. Whoops. Oh great. Uh no peace and quiet. You see that climbing on a window? Oh no, the spider lady. Oh my god. And harpoons, that's it. I spent everything else on those big ugly guys. Uh, great. Just fantastic. Great bunch of obstacles for me to trip over. She's just crawling outside, I saw her. Alright. Can we just run through? There's a dead guy over there. This is going to be one of those threshold points, I guess, so. Here we go. Yikes! Uh, another door. Thank you for taking the obstacles out of my way. Maybe? A dark room. Oh, I hear Jill. And then, interestingly enough, that's the music uh, Ruben was playing on the piano when the doctor talked to him, so... Maybe Jill and Ruin are... Is Jill actually L Laura, his sister? Oh, man. Can't think this stuff out while, uh... Oop, let's listen. Everything I have, everything I am, has been taken from me since the accident by those who seek to consume me. They're in the darkness, with only the phantoms of my mind to comfort me, to taunt me. I nearly lost myself completely. But then I saw her. Deep down I know she was only an apparition. But I would regain my face. Recover what was taken from me. Restore her. My beloved sister, Laurel. Uh-oh. Alright, so let's look at some maybe similarities. Here we have... Reuben, who lost his sister. He loved her very much, and he wants to get her back. And now we have Sebastian, who loses his daughter in a fire, wants to get her back probably very much. So, some similarities there, but that's where it ends. Okay, still trying to piece the story together. Uh, I saw the spider lady crawling outside, I'm afraid I'm going to run into her, but... Jill's nearby. There she is. Checkpoint. Thank you. May not be. Oh, I can upgrade my harpoons. Uh, is it gonna happen? Is it? There's a PlayStation again. All right. 
So I had to drill real quick. Maybe it'll be a diary entry. Ah, yep, diary. Let's have a read. Let's see. Journal of Sebastian Castellanos, February 27th, 2012. I've watched friends and colleagues die before, part of the job that I've taken. And it's never easy, but nothing can compare to losing your own child. <clears throat> Excuse me. I die a million times over to prevent it, but I can't. I felt so helpless when they lowered that tiny coffin into the ground. The pain is unbearable. Oh, the pain is unbearable. I know I shouldn't, but drinking is the only thing that's let me sleep for the last few weeks. He did turn to the bottle. Uh, I worry about Myra. This has been extremely hard on her, and her way of handling it has been unnerving. If he's drinking, what's she doing? She wants to be alone, has taken to staying up all night. She says doing work to keep her mind off the tragedy, but seems to be... Uh, sorry. She wants to be alone, has taken to staying up all night. Says she's doing work to keep her mind off the tragedy, but she seems to be closing herself off to the world. I know that tends to happen when couples lose a child, and I hope that we're strong enough to avoid it. So he's drinking, she's not sleeping. And again, just another revisit to the fact that he lost his daughter. Whoops. Just like uh, Ruvik lost his sister. Maybe Sebastian volunteered for this. I knew it. Right? Is that what you're going to say? No? Can I find anything in my toilet? No? Anything here? Empty cup of coffee. I could use a cup of coffee right now. That's my buddy here from next door. New. Not gonna give me any advice. All right, let's upgrade the old ooh, harpoon. I can see in there. There's a sink. All right. Uh, oh. Have you forgotten something? Your flowers. I'm sorry. Oh, is today our anniversary day? Uh, I'm wondering if this is just in his mind. Oh, there's a newspaper over there. What's that say? Home destroyed by fire. See, again, another revisit to his past. Home destroyed by fire. Home destroyed by fire. Daughter of police officer among victims. The bodies of Lily Castellanos, five, and babysitter Juanita Flores, 56, were found in the charred home. Both of the child's parents are police officers with the Crimson City Police Department and were on duty at the time of the fire. Police are investigating as a possible arson. Hmm. Sad. Is there another newspaper? Let's say gas. Can't read it. Oh, das. Yeah, it's in German. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Victoriano. Is that a German family? Italian? They've had kind of like Spanish names. A oh, missing one. Oh, missing poster. Missing Patrick Higgins, lawyer of the Victoriano family. Last seen meeting with a man believed to be a client. That would be Ruvik. Oh, that's another thing. Ruvik instead of Ruben Victoriano. You take the first two letters of Ruben and the last few letters of his last name, and you get Ruvik. Uh, okay. Let's uh, power up. Got to power up here. Uh, weapons. Weapons. Mm, agony bolts. Here we go. The harpoon. So, inflicts damage on enemies. Struck fire damage added at five level five. Oh, maybe that's maybe it adds fire damage, but I won't see fire. All right, Boom. let's do it. 
Thank you. Those are bolts. Can I do it? No, I need 15. Um, what else do I need while I'm here? Abilities? Maybe I should be able to run more? Maybe I should run more? I could do that. Do I want to run more? I guess that would be good. Weapons. Charge time, range, and reload time. Uh, not too bad with the sniper rifle. Should I just save it? Uh, damage multiplier. Fire rate. Uh, accuracy. Yeah, I could use accuracy. Critical. I'll save it. Alright. Oh yes. And one more key. I got three keys. There's the end of this segment. Uh, I can't believe we didn't finish the chapter. It looks like I got another challenge coming up. Uh, after going up against those two big hooked guys and having to endure that terrible music, uh, looks like Laura, I guess the spider lady is coming up. I'm going to have to meet up against her in the next episode. So, ladies and gentlemen, please come back. I do appreciate your support. My name is Tokyo Blue, and you've come to Game Station Tokyo.